everybody, so this is going to be a review of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I have not been this excited about a foundation type product in a very, very long time, if ever. I am so excited about this. Um, just the concept in general really intrigued me, and it's definitely something I want to pick up. I went ahead and picked it up at the Sephora VIB sale, and I've been playing around with it for the past week or two or so. And spoiler alert, I've fallen in love with the product. So this is going to be a very positive review on the Cover FX Custom Cover Drop. So this is what it looks like here. That's the packaging. It just comes in a little jar. And then this here itself is a dropper, like an eyedropper type thing. And basically the idea behind this is that it's not a foundation per se on its own. It's not like a BB cream or a moisturizer or anything like that. It's basically a jar full of just pure pigment in whatever color your skin tone happens to be. And the idea behind this is that you take this and you mix it with whatever product you want, whether that be your moisturizer, your primer, your BB cream, your foundation, whatever it is, whatever product you want, you mix this pigmented and it changes the color of that product and makes it so that it's the color of whatever foundation per se you were gonna buy. The cool thing about that is that you can use as much or as little of the product as you want. So if you really want like a sheer wash of color, you can add it to your, say, moisturizer. Just put a very tiny little drop and it will just kind of tint your moisturizer and then you have a tinted moisturizer. If you want full coverage, you can add a whole lot more of this to whatever product you want. I think if, I haven't tried this, but I would assume if you added it to a foundation, which already has a lot of pigment in it on its own, it's going to be a very full coverage foundation. The way I've been using it is just with my moisturizer, essentially like a tinted moisturizer, but I control the level of coverage. So if I don't really care what my skin looks like that day, like I'm just running errands or whatever, I could just use a little bit of this and it will just kind of even out my skin tone. But if I'm going out or something like that, then I can add more of this and it becomes a foundation on its own. And the reason that appealed to me is because it's basically like one last step. Why would I do moisturizer and then foundation if I can just do moisturizer with foundation in one? Same thing for the primer. I haven't tried that yet, but I would assume if you added this product to a primer, you'd have a very long lasting primed kind of foundation on your face. So I definitely want to try that out too. The foundation I decided to add it to today is the Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion from Dr. Brandt. The sample of this in my Ipsy bag and I've been playing around with it. So I just added some of the drops of that to this and that's how I did my face today and I'll quickly show you myself doing that. All right, here I am starting with no makeup on my face. As you can see, my face is a little bit angry at the moment, particularly in the chin reason, region, so you'll be able to see the coverage of this. I'm gonna start with my moisturizer. I use a little bit, little bit less than normal, not that much, just because the foundation itself is quite liquidy. And then the foundation, hard to tell you exactly how much I'm using. Maybe a quarter of the dropper. And I just mix it together. And it's very, very pigmented. So immediately it turned my moisturizer the same color as the foundation. It's very liquidy in consistency, but it just blends with whatever you put it with. So whether it be your moisturizer or primer or foundation or whatever, you mix it with, it just turns into that consistency for the most part. So as you can see, I didn't use, <laughs> I didn't use much of the cover effects and there's a lot of pigment happening. I prefer to use my fingers because it is a moisturizer and that's how I typically put on a moisturizer. And I just need to go through and make sure it's all blended in as thoroughly as possible. All right, so there it is finished there. In the viewfinder, it's making me look quite pale compared to my body, but when I look in my mirror here, it's it's the same color as my neck and my chest. It's, it's a good match. I'm not sure why the viewfinder is doing that, but as you can see, it has really, really good coverage. I barely used any of the pigment. If I needed more, I could just add more to it and it would bump up the coverage. The finish is pretty matte, but again, the moisturizer I used was uh, a mattifying lotion, so I would expect that. It just turns into whatever, like I said, whatever product you put it in, so it's really cool in that aspect. Um, it blended in easy. It just feels like my skin now. It just feels like I put on a moisturizer that's sunken in, so that's what it looks like without makeup, the rest of my makeup, and then I'll show you what it looks like with my finished makeup. So here's the completed face, and as you can see, it 
totally matches my, my chest and my neck. It looks very natural in my opinion. I would say I did like a medium coverage. I'll zoom in. With the um, amount of drops that I used, you could still slightly see, you know, some of the redness. Um, but if I were to add more drops, then I'd have more of a full coverage look. And again, if I was to use less, then I'd have less. This is kind of the level for like an everyday thing that I would go for. I'm just going to quickly read some info from the website. It comes in 24 shades, which is crazy. That's an insane amount of shades, different undertones too, which is awesome. It retails for $44 Canadian. I think it's about $39 US. Not too sure. So it is pricier. Um, it says it's a dropper with concentrated pigments for convenient customization of any product in your beauty regimen, allowing you to control the level of coverage, which is exactly what I said. Um, it can be mixed with moisturizers, serums, oils, primers, foundations, and tinted moisturizer, and they can all be water, oil, or silicone based, so it can pretty much mix with anything. Um, the drops feature flash fusion technology, so as soon as you drop it leaves behind pigment that weightlessly transforms your beauty product into the sheerest tint or total coverage foundation. Interesting. Um, and the pigments are coated with leth lethicin, which is biochemically similar to skin to ensure seamless blending. And what's not included is paraben, sulfates, and phthalates, which is awesome. It actually has a super high rating here on the Sephora website that I'm reading off of, and I'm not surprised, because as you can tell, I love it. I feel like it's just the perfect foundation, and it can be, again, a thicker foundation. If you mix it with foundation, it could be with a moisturizer. It doesn't matter. You, you basically, it's like an all-in-one product. Anything you want, you can do with this one magical dropper, and um, it lasts all day. It lasts just as well as any of my other moisturizers. It doesn't get shiny on me. Um, it just feels like I just have moisturizer on. It's completely weightless. So really excited about it. Really happy about it. Highly suggest you check it out if you're interested in a product like that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.